Hey guys, <clears throat> this is Mitch Bully here with uh, Bully's Farm and Kennel. And uh, today, you guys are actually witnessing the first video I wanted to do. Um, and basically, um, I've been breeding and raising American Pit Bull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, and American Bullies here for the past few years. And uh, what I find mostly uh, the problem in the, in the Pit Bull world is the, uh, the lack of education that people have with this breed. Um, so uh, today I decided to start a series of videos. Uh, we're going to be going over temperament, health, um, just everything about owning. And these apply to not just uh, the Pit Bull Terrier, but uh, to, to any dog really. Uh, just being a responsible pet owner, knowing what to do in certain situations, knowing the good health, and you know any dog owner should know that that's the most important thing. Uh, today's first video is going to be about the different types of uh, American pit bull terriers or pit bulls. Um, the first thing is, is pit bulls have a really generic term. Uh, the term pit bull refers to about four different t different types of breeds. Uh, the first one being the uh, Staffordshire Terrier, which is more like the original type that uh, you see a lot in, in Europe. Um, then you have the American pit bull terrier, which is Jada here. Um, this is your more of once they came over from the from England and, and Ireland and things like that, this is what your American type is gonna is gonna be like. Um, and basically, we're lucky to, enough to have here at Bully's Farm and Kennel uh, three different three of those types. You have the, your, like I said, your Staffordshire Terrier, which I don't have. It's more of a European breed. Um, your American Pit Bull Terrier, like Jada here, um, the American Staffordshire Terrier, which is a little bit bigger, and then your American Bully, which is even bigger than that. Um, so the first type we're going to start out with is uh, Jada. Come here, Jada. Yeah, that's a good girl. Jada here is your original uh, American Pit Bull Terrier. She is about 16 months old, um, so I imagine she will. She is going to get a little bit fuller here, but um, this is your this is your standard type. This is when you when you think about pit bulls, um, most people you know your original working dog. This is going to be it. Um, she is about 50, 55 pounds. Uh, it's been a little while since I've weighed her, and she still is growing. But she, I think she won't get any bigger than 60 pounds, which is actually on the larger side for your uh, true American Pit Bull Terriers. But you can see in her, let me get her around here. I mean, first of all, great temperament. These dogs are are absolutely wonderful, wonderful dogs as far as their their athleticism and their temperament, and and just I can't say enough about them. Their trainability, but uh. You can see with her, you know, very light built, very light bone structure. Uh, the biggest thing about your when your confirmation with the pit bulls is is just it's not so much of this size or this weight or this height. It's it's all about proportion. Um, her head is the same is, is is in right proportion with her body. Like I said, she will fill out a little bit um, just because she's got a little bit more to grow, but. Uh, She's got a great, great headpiece. She's very, very active, as you can see. Wants the treats. Sit. Good girl. Now, in these videos, I'm going to be talking about a lot about game. Now, when I say game, I mean nothing of the sort of dog fighting. We don't condone dog fighting. Um, basically it's, when I say game, I mean game as far as what these dogs are capable of doing, the drive that they have, the athleticism that they have, and as far as your most game, when I say game or game dog, I'm referring to a American Pit Bull Terrier like her. She's not overly built, she has, like I said, great proportion as far as size goes, Extremely athletic, great jumper. She is a working dog, and so many times you see in the uh, American pit bull terriers nowadays is the fact that they're overly sized. They're not um, working dogs anymore, you know, and that's fine. She she's a she's a family pet, and she is a working dog at the same time. So this is what you're looking for when you're looking for the original American pit bull terrier. All right, it's, it's just this this lean. You want a lean, you want a muscular, you want a good proportion as far as size goes. Um, anything over 60 pounds with these dogs is a little on the heavier side. You don't want that. 
Um, she's just a great example. I need her to turn around here. Of what you're looking for with the original American Pitbull Terrier. All right. Now next off, we're going to bring out uh, an American Staffordshire Terrier. These dogs were built for the show ring. Um, they have the uh, impression, and, and not just an impression, but they're bred for show and they want to be uh, show quality. They're a little bit larger. Um, the AKC is the only one that recognizes the uh, American Staffordshire Terrier, but basically they're the same breed. And I, I want I want to let that know. These are, these dogs are pretty much all the same, um, and we're just going to show you some of the differences in the conformation. All right. So let's put Jada up and we'll go grab Nova. This here is Nova. He is a American Staffordshire Terrier. He is about 10 months old. So you can see that he's got a little bit more growing to do. He's about 60 pounds right now. I see him toffing off about about 70 pounds, which is on the larger side for the Amstaffs. But he's got great, great, great conformation. Um, great headpiece. Solid, solid chest. You notice that the uh, you see in a lot of these larger t uh, pit bulls that they have the the bowed legs are just, they're sticking out to here, legs sticking out to here, chest just so wide. It's all about proportion here, all right? He is uh, what you call, what people in the pit bull, uh, you know, a community call a blue, gray, whatever you want. The actual blue color is actually just a uh, genetic mutation of, uh, of black. So these dogs would originally been black, but they were bred with that genetic mutation to uh, give them this gray, blue color, whatever you want to call it. Uh, speaking of that, I want everybody to know that uh, so many people say blue nose or red nose or things like that. That's just a reference of color. Uh, it is not a breed. It is not a breed type. It is not a bloodline. It is the color of them. Basically, you can you can cross a bunch of you know mix whatever colors you want in pit bull terriers. You're going to get different colors, whether it be blue nose, whether it be red nose, whatever. It's just a color. Um, it has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with uh, with the thing. But as you can tell with him, the difference with him, like I said, he's only 10 months old. He's already bigger than Jada, who's a year and a half. Um, but he's just a heavier muscle, heavier bone, um, but still athletic. Still still has great, great, great athleticism. Um, and that's what you want to look for. Like I said, these were bred as working dogs. Um, you do not want to take that away from the working dog. Um, I imagine he'll get about uh, probably 10 pounds, he'll bulk up a little bit, but uh, and I'm sorry I couldn't show you a full-grown Amstaff, but this is what your epitome of Amstaff is. Um, just a little bit heavier uh, show quality of the American Pitbull Terrier, all right? And uh, of course, when we bring them over to America, everybody wants bigger and better, and so we've, we've, we've bred up your original American Pitbull Terrier into, into these guys right here. And uh, I can't really tell from a camera, a camera angle. I hope you guys are getting a good view of him. But, uh, you know, great example uh, of your American Staffordshire Terrier. Um, he, Like I said, he is blue, gray, whatever you want to call him. Uh, but this is Nova. Like I said, 10 months old. Um, and just a, just a really, really good example of your, of your American Staffordshire Terrier. Um, your Amstaffs, like I said, were bred more for show. Um, but we here at Bullies Kennels, you know, we do both. We show them. Uh, they're working dogs. At the same time, we do weight pull competitions. We do uh, agility as well as confirmation. So uh, here's a good example of your AM staff here. And uh, next off, we're going to show you uh, the newer breed, the uh, American Bully um, here. And let me bring him out. I'll be right back.
right, guys. <laughs> now, this overall bunk, little rambunctious bundle of joy is your American Bully. Now, there's tons of different types with this dog. Well, first, let me start off with the origination of the American Bully. The American Bully, what most bully breeders will tell you, is that they were taken. They took American Pit Bull Terriers and they took American Staffordshire Terriers and they bred them for size and things like that. I know a lot of you bully breeders are going to be mad at me right now, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you um, the American Bully is not a purebred dog, such as the American Staffordshire or the American Pit Bull Terrier. This dog has outcrossings. And I don't mean this dog specifically, I mean the American Bullies in general. Um, you guys can sit there and tell me, tell them, till you're blue in the face, that Mastiff, English Bulldogs, things like that, were, or American Bulldogs were not bred into these guys. Um, I've gone to shows and seen uh, those pocket bullies, uh, which pocket bullies mean the real short, uh, stout, you know, big headed bullies. Um, I've seen them with corkscrew tails, uh, which is just, which is like the English Bulldog. Um, I've seen them with heavy, heavy wrinkles, which is, you know, indicative of the of the uh, Mastiff Center in them. Um, like I said, if someone sits there, if, if any bully breeder sits there and tries to tell you that the American Bully has no crossbreeding in them to get that size or get the, the head size and this bulk that you see, they're lying. Um, so, with that cleared up, I'm sorry, comment what you want, but it's true. Um, Roman here, he's about he's he'll be two years old next week actually on the 11th April 11th. He is what you would call your standard bully. Um, basically, like I said, we do working dogs here. Um, I love the bully. I love the size. You know, the, the nice pronounced head, the good temperament, uh, the bone structure and everything. But you get into these pocket bullies who are just a wreck. You get into these XL bullies who are just too big. And and what we go for here is we go on on health. We want them to be able to work. We want them to be healthy. We want them to be happy dogs. Um, and so what we got out of our breeding here is is, is Roman. Um, Roman is a uh, his dad was a big um, XL bully that we crossed back into a large American pit bull terrier to get that athletic bully style. Uh, you can see the difference in Nova and Jada's head uh, right off the bat. Very very pronounced head short muzzle, uh, very, very powerful, strong jaws, deep chest, um, and, and large, large bone structure. Roman here is about 85 pounds. Like I said, he's almost two, so that's about as big as he's going to get. Um, yes, I know. And he's a big love bug, you know, that's what you want. But uh, as far as size and strength, you know, uh, nothing matches this guy. He doesn't have quite the game and the uh, tenacity, or if, if you want to call it as uh, the original American Pit Bull Terrier like Jada, um, but as far as uh, keeping him athletic, keeping him, um, you know, he's got great drive, he's got uh, great athleticism, uh, and that's hard to find sometimes in these bullies. Uh, sometimes, a lot, most of the times these bullies you see, you know, they make great, you know, family pets, but you're going to run into a lot of problems with health. Um, you're going to run a lot of problems as far as if you want to get out and run with a dog or, you know, take them out doing this. They, they lose their breath. They get overheated very, very easily. Um, so what we want to do is I wanted a, um, a bully style that, uh, that I could still do all that stuff with and still have the athleticism. And uh, I'm very proud of, of, of the breeding that we did with him. You know, we got basically what you, what you call your standard bully. You know, you have your pocket bullies, you have your standards, you have your XLs, and you have your XXLs. So he would fall in the category of the uh, standard bully, and uh, couldn't be more prouder with this with this breeding right here. Um, just a, a great dog. Um, I wanted an athletic dog who, who still had the the great bone structure and the good you know solid headpiece that the uh, American bullies bring to the table. But at the same time, I wanted the uh, athleticism and the the health uh, of your uh, original American pit bull terrier and Amstaff. So. Uh, so that's what we got with Roman. So over the course of these videos, like I said, I'm going to be showing you um, a little bit about the health, um, training, um, confirmation, things like that, and just the education. I find so many people people fear what they don't understand. And the biggest thing that I find with pit bulls is, is, is just people's understanding of the breed. They do not understand 
um, and so they fear it. And there's no reason to fear them. I, I do realize that they are a, a, a big, you know, menacing-looking dog that may have had a uh, very, very sheltered past, or uh, not sheltered past, but a clouded past um, due to the dog fighting and things like that. But I gotta tell you, um, as you can see here. These, these are great pets, these are great wonderful dogs, and I hope with these videos that you'll be able to see, you know, you'll, you'll be a little bit more informed, um, you know, take away what the media says about these guys, and uh, just really, you know, and if you have any questions, you have any comments, please, I, I'm available. I love, one of my most important things that I think I can do as an ambassador for this breed is to, is to educate and uh, to answer any questions. Um, a little bit about myself, I do breed, I train dogs, I have my degree in animal science um, and uh, genetics, and uh, you know, so I, I am what you would, I guess, call somewhat of an expert. Um, I'm learning every day, um, but uh, these are just, these are great, these are great dogs, all three different types, and um, like I said, any questions, any comments, please, please feel free to, to send me any. I'd love to answer any questions. And uh, thank you for enjoying this first video. Uh, we hope to have many, many to come. And uh, like I said, just give me some suggestions on what you'd like to see next. Uh, we'll show you some of the training that we do um, with the different types. Um, we'll go over um, some of the health concerns that we, we have faced. And, uh, and yeah, so you say bye, Roman. Go, give me a look at the camera. Yeah, no. Anyway, as you can see, these guys are just big old babies, and um, the public has a real misconception for them. And uh, I hope with some of these videos that I can answer some questions and uh, just take away some of the uh, some of the negativity that's associated with these guys. All right. And uh, well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you stay tuned. Thank you.